you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Most High said that you're supposed to rest on the seventh day. Why are we not at rest? Why are people buying and selling and doing all type of evil on the seventh day? Why? Because they don't know. That's why we out here. Right. That's why we out here. The tribe of Judah is somebody that came out of that tribe that is very, very, very important in the New Testament. Who is that? Who is our Messiah? Uh oh, well, hey, I see the, hey, hey, I see it going. Who is it? Hey, I'm going to give you a part of the name. Jesus. Jesus came from that same tribe. So right. the same blood that's flowing through your vein is the same blood that flew through Jesus' vein when he walked this earth. It's the same blood. But many of our brothers and sisters don't know that. Hey, we don't even consider. You know what I'm saying? This Bible is so heavy that just that alone would just... Take your mind and you like, wow. The book of Hebrews time? chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it up. For it's evident that the Lord sprang out of Judah. It's evident that the Lord sprang out of Judah. Now, I know the so-called um, um, Israeli man, he said that he is what? That he is a Judite, right? He said he's Israeli, he's a Judite. Now, the Bible is very, um, is very descriptive in actually how the Jews look. So now we're going to go to go to actually just how the just how the Jews look that they are black upon the ground you know what I mean to me and if and to be black upon the ground is not talking about you know a hey, um like uh like like it's your shadow no because the most I say that he formed us from the dust of the ground but we're going to show you that too get Jeremiah 14 and verse 2 the the book of Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2 uh -huh. Judah mourn and the gates thereof language and the gates thereof language our leadership um your so-called um, T.D. Jakes, they were supposed to be leaders of us, they're languishing. They're not keeping the commandments. They're going off, all right? Come on, Ray. They are black unto the ground. They are black. So Judah is black unto the ground, okay? They are black unto the ground. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Go to Genesis 2 and verse seven. Teach. Why, now, why, now, why did um, Jer Jeremiah 14 and two said, said that? Come on. Let's the book of Genesis, chapter two, and verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. To form man of the dust of the ground. What color is the um, dust or the dirt? What color is it? It's, um, it can actually go from a light shade of brown to a dark shade of brown. The dark you, um, the deep you dig, the dark one gets, right? Mm -hmm. So that telling you right there that the first man was what? A black man. It was a black man. That's right. <laughs> this Bible, hey, this Bible is really, hey. It reveals stuff to you that society have lied to you about for so many years and that you're learning just in five to ten minutes. Alright? Tell me, but I'ma show you that you will see your teachers on the streets. Give me Isaiah 30 and verse 10. Bring it out! I got because I gotta let you know this while we out here, okay? Um Isaiah 30 verse 20, and then I'ma go to um Luke 14. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 20. Uh-huh. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into, into a corner anymore. We will not be removed into a corner anymore. Even though we go through all these trials and tribulations here. All right? To me, they can do whatever to us that they want. But but guess what, though? We are out here. We're standing bold. That's yeah? right. right. We're going to teach our people. This is what we have to do. This is this is our calling, man. Right. All right? To me, so this is why we do it. Come on, Rick. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Your eyes are going to see your teachers. Come on. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When I called you, I'd be like, hey, so uh, hey, hey, so who you are according to the Bible? You hey, you answer. That's what he's talking about right there. You respond, you'll be like, oh, okay, hey, okay, hey, somebody calling me. Okay, cool. Now, I got it. Now, um, give me um, is that it on that? Yes, okay, yeah, finish it up. When you turn to the right, when you turn to the right hand. And when you turn to the left, uh -huh. verse 22. Uh, okay. okay. Now, give me Luke uh, 15 and 23. Let me, let it, um, let's get that, let's get the understanding why we out here, okay? Let me actually let you know just why we out here crying aloud so you don't think we're crazy, all right? The book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto the servant, 
go out into the highways and hedges. Guess what? This is the highway. Yo, and you got hedges right over there. We're here. We're here. We're right here. Just hey, just so our people can see us. And and and, and our so-called black Hispanics and, and, and Native Americans can understand that guess what? They are the Israelites. Alright? We got hey, we have to teach our people this stuff because many people don't do not show our people that they're special. Right. They don't show our people that. But the Bible call you special. Come on. And compel them to come in. And compel them. Let them know just who they are. And tell them, hey, come in to me. Now you know who you are. It's laws and commandments that you have to follow. Now, come in. Join us. All right? To me. So you can actually turn around and go teach your people. Because remember, hey, I'm going to tell you. I came, hey, I came in this piece of here off of a squeak teaching. I was standing right where you're standing. Let's get to the men in this case, okay? Because the men are very important. We need the men in um, in, in in order to build our nation back. So so guess what? We gotta come back to the most our laws, but first Kings two and two. First Kings chapter two and verse two. Let's get it. The book of first Kings. Chapter two and verse two. Bring uh -huh. it up. I go the way of all the earth. He go the way of all the earth. Come on. Be thou strong, therefore. Black men, Hispanic men, Native American men, be strong. Hey, brother, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Well, who are you, man? Who are you? Come on, come on, man. Rain. And Rain. show thyself a man. And show thyself a man. So, with these scriptures here, you're going to show yourself a man, right? Come on, Rick. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. This is how you show yourself a man. Keep the charge of the Most High God. But what is the charge of the Most, most High? Read. To walk in his ways. Uh-huh. To keep his statutes. Uh-huh. And his commandments. Uh-huh. And his judgments. Uh-huh. And his testimonies. Uh-huh. As it is written in the law of Moses. So these laws and commandments is what make us a man. We have to keep them. All right? So what do the Bible say about a man? Let's get actually, um, let's get the beer. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it on. They shall, not, they shall not make baldness upon their head. So we can't make baldness on our head like how uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Charles Barkley, and all of them got the bald head. They're shaving their ball. We can't do that thing. Come on. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither shall we shave off our beard. However your beard grow. Mine is spotty. Guess what? I got to let it grow. It don't matter. Got to let it grow. The most I say, hey, let that thing grow. Come on. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. No make any cuttings in your flesh, all right? No tattoos or anything like that. No tattoos. You can't get it. And if you got them, guess what? Let that be the last one, all right? That's showing your repentance, all right? Now, um, let's get another law. Uh, let's get um, two. Hey, let me see which one we want to touch. Yeah. Hey, we can get the Sabbath day. Because you was coming to the store to do what? Go oh, buy something. Okay. Yeah. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor. Six days shall you labor. So, okay. What is what is the first day of the week? I wanna um, I wanna make sure that you know this. What is the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday? Right, right, Sunday. So the seventh day will be what? Um no, I said the seventh day will be what? The seventh day will be what? If the first day is Sunday. Then the seventh day will be Saturday. Yes, sir. Oh, praise you. Come on. Verse 10. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And it thou shalt do in thou shalt not do any work. And in it thou shalt not do any work. You shall not do any any work. Any nay, not anything whatsoever. Do not go rake your yard. Any of that stuff. You rest on this day. You go out and you teach your people. Okay? To me. Um, now let's go. Okay, again. Yeah, I know it's. I, I know it's more on that. Okay. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maid, thy manservant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy thy stranger that is with, within thy gates. So the most I'm telling you, nobody in your household is supposed to be doing anything. So if you got a wife, okay, guess what? She cannot be doing any work either. Let me get Genesis two and one. Let me show them that the seventh day. It's the day that our um, that our father rested, so that's why he got that decree. Teach the book of Genesis, chapter two and verse one. Bring it out. 
Thus the heaven and earth were finished and all the host of them. Mm -hmm. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. Uh -huh. And he rested on the seventh day. He did what? And he rested on the seventh day. Many of our brothers and sisters will ask, hey, man, hey, what y'all doing out here? We out here to edify you. Right. To give you these damn laws and commandments. That's guess right. What? Guess what? Because y'all don't have it. And many of you don't want it. Right. And we can't make you listen. We can just speak. And if you walk and just um, ignore us, then hey, it is what it is. To me, that's what's going on today. People just walking and ignoring. Like, okay, cool. To me, come on. And he... And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Uh huh. And God blessed the seventh day. And he blessed the seventh day, meaning, meaning, meaning that he hallowed this day. This right. is a special day to him. All right. To me, he made this day special because this is the day that we rest from all our work and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. You know what? And it's funny to look at our black brothers and sisters that they don't have time for the Bible. Right. You have the Bible coming out, but you don't have time. What are you doing? Right. Today is Saturday, you don't have nothing to do. This is what I'm saying, hey, our people are destroyed. They gotta come back to these laws and commandments, man. To me, that's why it is a great work to be done out here because our black brothers and sisters, they do not wanna listen. They right. don't even give a damn about the most high law. Right. They hate them. Bring it up. Come on, finish with that. Verse four. These are the generations of heaven and of the earth when they were created in the day uh, that... The uh, hey, give me actually um, Exodus uh, 23. No, 16 and 23. 16 and 23. Let's talk about how you're supposed to appear for the Sabbath so next week you will know how to do so, all right? Tell me, we're going to talk about that because we don't talk about on the seventh day we can't buy or sell, right? We don't went, oh no, we haven't actually went through the buying day itself yet. We're gonna, um, we're gonna get there. We done got the work though. We done actually went over work. You did not work on the seventh day. The Most High hollowed that thing, so you're supposed to rest. Rest meaning that you're supposed to gather with your brothers and sisters on the seventh day. That's why we got um, our address for the school on the back of that flyer. That where we meet at, after we get through with our hair, after teaching our people, we meet there to make sure that we gather together on the seventh day just to actually fellowship, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's good being around your brothers. I don't know about you, but hey, it'd be hard all during the week, but when you get around your brothers, it's like, okay, cool, now I can let my head down. Woo! But Sunday, come right back around, and it's like, oh shit, hey, now I can right back to the grind, so get ready. You know what I'm saying? It's like that kind of feel, but get it. The book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Bring it up. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today. So, what the Most High is saying right there is, guess what? You know that the Sabbath is tomorrow, right? You know what? Cook you a double portion. And he's going to go into telling you that. Cook a, um, cook a double portion. Why? Cook a portion where you eat today, and you have some laid up to eat tomorrow. You know what I mean? But you can't warm it up, though. Okay? So, that's why we eat sandwiches. Some of us eat cereal in the morning. Some of us eat fruits. Uh, veggies, stuff like that that you don't have to warm up um, because we can't cook rice right. and you know grits and all that stuff. Hey, we right. can't cook that stuff because the Most High said actually do not cook on my day. That's why He telling you to do this now. Read and seed that which that ye will seed and that which remain over lay up for you to keep until the morning. And that seed that going into boil. Maybe you want to boil you an egg to. Um, um, to eat on a Saturday, right? You are boil the egg on Friday before sundown and you will eat it, you know, like tomorrow morning of the Sabbath, you know what I'm saying? If you are hungry, you know what I'm saying? That way that is going into, all right? Go ahead. And they laid it up till the morning as Moses bade, and it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. So, that the most I tell you how to prepare for the Sabbath day. So, if you know you can't cook on the Sabbath and you know that you want you want chicken to eat with your salad, right? You know you can't warm up the chicken, but you can let the chicken um, in the morning, you can take the chicken out and you can let it get room temperature by itself, right? And you can eat it with your salad later on um, later uh, later on that day. Right. You can do that. There's no crime or nothing in that, right? But if you cook on the Sabbath day, if you cook, 
Now you sin against the Most High God. The Most right. High can punish you any way possible, and He tell you that the ways of sin is death. Right. That's Romans six and twenty three. Now He ain't tell you how He's gonna kill you. That's the scary part of dealing with our Father because Moses tell you that our Father is terrible. Right. He's a terrible God, which He's uh, the reason why He's terrible is because guess what? We keep sinning. We keep um, the Most High will pull us out of captivity, and the Most High will put us right back in captivity. Right. Because we sin. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. We are a sinful people. So right. we gotta come back to the most high law with, with all of our heart and soul That's right. to keep these laws and commandments to the best of our ability. Right. Right? To make sure that we don't do anything against uh, um any, anything against our father to um to make him angry or make him mad or move him to wrath. And that's sin. Right. Right. Now let's go to the buy and um the buying and selling. That's Nehemiah 10 and 30, 10 and 31. Bring it out. Let's get that. When um because Nehemiah, hey, Nehemiah was Nehemiah was a prophet of a prophet. You know what I'm saying? I um, I like Nehemiah because Nehemiah let you actually know that guess what? If you sin around me, I mad as lay hands on you. That's how hey, hey, that's how Nehemiah rolled because guess what? Hey, when we sin, when one person sin, all of us, all of us can be punished for that sin. You you see, um, you see what I'm saying. That's why the most high said, guess what? Gather yourself together so we can govern one another. All right. When you see a brother going off, to me, it's your responsibility to say something about that thing. But we're gonna get into that next. Come on. The book of Nehemiah, chapter ten, and verse thirty-one. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring where or any victual on the stop, where and victuals that is merchandise. Okay, that's like your um, your juices in there, uh, your t-shirts, um, your face masks, and all those things. That going into merchandise just to um, just to sell. Come on. On the Sabbath day to sell, that they would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. The Israel, the Israelites would not buy them of those other nations on the Sabbath day. So you know how the other nations, um, like uh, I think uh, it's another nation that owned that liquor shop right there. He's selling liquor today. We supposed to buy that according to the Bible? What the Bible told us? Don't do not buy a soul on the Sabbath day, right? But yet our brothers will hear this and be like, I don't believe that man. I'm gonna go buy me uh, you know, some chin or something like that. And the most high is letting you know, guess what? If you do it, just know that that's a sin and that you are capable of receiving death for that thing because I told you the ways of the sin is death. We're gonna get you that swift next. Come on. Please. And that we would leave the seventh year in the exaction of every death. That's so important to know that if I go against any of these laws that the brothers bringing out, that I can receive death for that thing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.